My name is Sharice Castro-Smith. I'm Brian Antonio. And I'm Jackie Siblis Drury. And we are the 2012 Van Leer Fellows. Um, I'm going to be working on a play that is called Really, 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 Really. It uh, is sort of centered around two women, the mother of a conceptual artist and the girlfriend of a conceptual artist. The conceptual artist before the play has vanished and they're sort of creating a relationship and also dealing with his loss, sort of. But I think it's it's kind of about photography, it's kind of about art, but hopefully it's also about how we live our lives. So I actually kind of got the germ of the idea of this play from Young Jean Lee, who was one of my mentors. And she said that she started writing plays by asking herself what she least wanted to write a play about. I kind of took that and I was like, what am I like most scared to write a play about? And then that turned into, what am I most scared of? And the answer was psychopaths. <laughs> um, <laughs> and this play, I was like, oh, like, there's like tons of male psychopaths. Like, what if I write a play about like a female psychopath? So I started writing this play, and I thought originally that it was going to be about just like this 14-year-old girl who was a psychopath, and her family sort of realizing that. But it turns out that it's about other stuff, too. There's a little bit like of crazy magic stuff happens in it, and um, I don't want to give too much away because it's kind of scary. My play, the play that I'm working on for the festival, is um, the working title is The Ocean at Your Door. It's the conclusion to a trilogy that I've been working on for a few years. Uh, the trilogy takes place in Sheepshead Bay, and um, while I was working on one of the plays in the trilogy, we got hit by the hurricane, and... I realized I was writing a trilogy about that was set in a place that could very well be underwater. The play sort of reckons with that, and it also reckons with what it means to choose your family, what it means to really sort of create the family around you as opposed to sort of just dealing with the family that you're born into and, and what that means for better or for worse. It's an odd take on parent, what it means to parent your parents. Parents who aren't necessarily making the best choices you know, who, do, who are just getting to an age where they're just digging their heels in and, you know, I don't know, just putting themselves in danger because they want to really hold on to something that they've worked for a long time very badly.